Walter Isaacson here at the Institute. Um, you said something very interesting to me um, a few minutes ago, which is that if reasonable people got together, they could figure out the end-to-end -end encryption issue and a way to make it so that our security could be protected, especially with legal authority and judicial orders. And yet, when the president went out to Silicon Valley, there were many companies that wouldn't even meet with him when he did that summit. Do you feel that those companies, it's incumbent upon them to work harder to figure out a common ground and a strategy where, with the proper judicial authority, there could be access to this? Could it be done? And what would be the argument you would make to them to have them do that? Yeah, my answer is I hope so. And, I, and I'm actually sensing a change. And, and I, don't, I don't know exactly what's driving the change. I think part of it is that folks are seeing that the ISIL threat and this going dark problem are actually coming together, and so it makes it real. Uh, and so what I'm sensing from companies is we actually share the same values. I mean, I hate this uh, framework. People talk about the crypto wars. Wars are fought between people who don't share the same values. I talk to these folks at, uh, who lead these companies. They all care about the same things I do. They care about security on the internet. They care about public safety. So I'm hoping we can stop the war talk and just say, look, you have a business to run, but you love your country. You love your children. You love public safety. We share the same values. Help us figure out how to do this in a way that preserves innovation, that protects privacy. Maybe it's too hard, but Silicon Valley, in fact, the whole country is filled with a lot of people who stood in their garage and flip-flops 20 years ago, and someone said, it's just too hard. Thank goodness, goodness they didn't believe those people. So I think if well-motivated, innovative people, and the FBI director should not be a source of innovation, come together and say, so how might we position our country so that judges' orders can be complied with, but privacy and strong encryption can remain a huge part of our lives, that I'm optimistic that we can do something.